Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the differential mode filter design for EMI. We are going to understand how you're going to design the differential mode EMI filter for conducted emission. How you're going to design the single stage differential mode EMI filter. How you're going to design the two stage differential mode EMI filter for application of conducted emission and how this differential mode filter attenuates attenuates the differential mode noise and so i'll explain the circuit diagram and later we will see the frequent response of single stage differential mode emi filter versus the two stage differential mode emi filter how they are uh, how the AC response or frequency response of single stage versus two stage looks like. Okay, so let, let us begin with understanding first the design part of single stage uh, differential mode filter and the dual stage, the dual stage differential mode filter. Okay, the purpose of both single stage and dual stage are to attenuate the differential mode noise. Both filters, even if you are using single stage or using dual stage, they are going to attenuate the differential mode noise which is coming from your, let us say, from your power supply. So let us first understand what is the requirement for this filter. Desired damping is my attenuation is 40 dB at 300 kilohertz for the single stage filter and I want the attenuation of 80 dB and uh, what is gonna be my corner frequency so my corner frequency is 30 kilohertz so understand this all the components are, are selected in the single stage filter design or dual stage filter design is going to give us the damping factor or attenuation at 300 kilohertz for single stage it is going to be 40 dB for dual stage it is going to be 80 dB and my corner frequency is 30 kilohertz now let us understand the basic circuit uh, design of the design of the differential mode filter okay so if you look at starting from the left if you look at starting from the left, I have modeled here LISN. LISN stands for the Line Impedance Stabilization Network and the impedance of LISN is 100 ohm. The second component which is connected in parallel with LISN is, is the MOV. That means it is varistor or MOV. So what is MOV? MOV basically helps in the surge protection but in order to model for the filtering purpose in spite of using mov i have model the capacitance of mov what is the capacitance of the mov i have model only the capacitance part here because on the capacitor is along with the inductor is going to help is going to help to attenuate any kind of noise coming from your let us say power supply any kind of differential mode noise or any kind of noise it is only capacitors with the help of l is going to help us so then the the capacitance of a movie the third component here you see is the x cap x cap the value of x cap is 2.2 micro henry so so I would like to thank you to Wurth Electronics. They have modeled this circuit in LT Spice. They have modeled the components library in LT Spice, and uh, they have lots of magnetics and the X cap and Y caps you can easily find in the LT Spice, which is from the Wurth Electronics. So it is very easy for the simulation. I now every component I I can get in the LT Spice even without more doing any modification and I can easily simulate the circuits given by the Wurth Electronics. So I would like to thank them. So the X cap here, if you look at here, X cap is 2.2 microfarad, the value of X cap. Now this is common mode choke. L3 is the common mode choke. So the leakage inductor of the common mode choke along with the X, along with the X cap helps in attenuating the differential mode noise this is basic funda this is basic funda so what what do we mean by is the the 
leakage inductance of the common mode choke remember this the leakage inductance of the common mode choke along with the value of x cap is going to help us in attenuating the differential mode noise coming from the power supply and then at this side i have two y cap again the y cap value of the y cap is 4.7 nanofarad again you can find this part in altispice library 4.7 nanofarad and this is rated for the y cap and then i am applying the ac source here for ac analysis so this is my ac source if you right click on here you will find ac amplitude is one the phase is zero so this is ac source now this is the design for the single stage filter in single stage filter the major component is x cap and along with the leakage inductance of the common mode choke that is leakage inductance of the l3 and the value of the common mode choke is 3.3 milli henry the value of common mode choke is 3.3 milli henry now if you look at the second stage filter what is the difference in first stage and what is difference in the second stage what is difference between both two because second stage filter is going to give me 80 db of attenuation at at the same frequency at 300 kilohertz i'll show you in the simulation so what if you look at here now so in the second stage i have c first then l the inductor then i have the again x cap i have x cap 1 and i have x cap 2 and the common mode choke this is the common mode choke i have also the y cap here and then after the x cap and y cap if you look at i have again i have again one more one more common mode choke and this is l2 and then again i have the y cap and here if you look at i am again uh, exciting this whole circuitry with ac excitation with amplitude of one and the phase of zero so this is more kind of ac excitation so in two stage filter if you look at what i have, what i did the changes here x cap value is 2.2 then microfarad in single stage in two stage it is going to be 560 nanofarad and 560 nanofarad x cap 1 and x cap 2 value is 560 nanofarad if you look at here the the common mode choke value is 3.3 milli henry and here l1 and l2 value are 1 milli henry also also if you look at now the y cap value y cap value here is 2.2 micro 2.2 uh, nanofarad and by cap value this side also 2.2 nanos nanofarad that is how you can model these components in altispice very easily you can get all the components within the altispice library there is no need to worry about that just follow the circuit given here and try to simulate try to build your own simulation and try to see the result so now if i go back on the simulation part so look at this this is the simulation part and uh, what is the corner frequency corner frequency is 30 kilohertz and at 300 kilohertz i want i want the attenuation of 40 db in single stage filter and 80 db in two stage filter so let us go back and see if you look at here this is more kind of our the corner frequency the response at the corner frequency you can see for both single stage filter single stage filter is in blue the frequency response for the two stage filter the response is in in red waveform you can see so these are the corner frequency for single stage filter and two stage filter and if i add the cursor here on the single stage filter so let me add the cursor so let's see what is the db attenuation at 300 kilohertz so let me move the cursor at this is the 300 kilohertz and 300 kilohertz you will see 300 kilohertz you will see the magnitude is what i want here is the magnitude i want is uh, at 300 it is going to be 40 db and if you look at now the magnitude here is 40 db clearly it's 45.4 db it's not 40 db little bit shifted because of the parasitics of the components but you see you we are getting the close result the magnitude the attenuation 
the damping attenuation at 300 kilohertz is 45.5 db and if i talk about the same point here in the second stage filter and the second stage filter if i i want to talk about here the second stage filter let me delete this let me delete this and this is our uh, 356 3 okay this is my 300 let's say and uh, let me move the cursor on top here and here here my magnitude if you look at here it's around it it is coming in 90 degree i am not able to locate the exact location of 300 300 1 100 200 and 300 this is going to 300 and here i see it's it is close it's not exactly 80 db per decade but it is close to 80 db i don't see uh, it's very hard to locate the cursor as uh, for the two stage but two stage i'm seeing right now 95 db even more than 80 db then after that after the 300 you will see the 40 db attenuation and 80 db attenuation and if you look at at this point somewhere around somewhere around this is one megahertz if you look at here somewhere around in the single stage filter your response is now flatting down your response in the flatting down it is coming down while in the two stage filter the response if you look at here at 2.2 2.2 megahertz frequency now at 2.2 megahertz frequency your response is coming started coming down the frequency response is the the gain plot this is the gain plot and if you look at now after 2.2 megahertz if you have the two stage filter it is static falling down okay the amplitude is start, started falling down here at 2.2 megahertz so basically if you are designed for any conducted emission or radiated emission your two stage filter is going to help you more but on the contrary single stage filter having the less components if you look at here the single stage components having less filter having less components so bomb cost is going to be less while in the two stage filter we have the lots of components almost double the component of your single stage filter so bomb cost is going to high but at the same time but the, at the same time your frequency response it is going to help you in the conducted emission and radiated emission kind of testing if you design your two stage filter so guys that is how you can build the LT spice the single stage filter in LT spice the two stage filter the differential mode filter in LT spice you can see the frequency response of both single stage filter and two stage filter the in LT spice and uh, try it try it out if you have any further question on this topic if you want to simulate this circuit if you want to need any help feel free to reach out to me in comment section thank you thanks for watching this video